Hello, uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is March 26 of 2019. Today is my birthday. I am 78 years old. Uh, you're going to hear some military aircraft. Uh, I'm in Fort Worth, Texas, and very near to what was Carswell Air Force Base, and uh, now it's a Joint Reserve Base, and the Army, Navy, and Marines, maybe something else, have reserve units there, and they regularly, uh, I'd say two or three days, you, I could actually go to their website and <clears throat> I think it tells what day uh, that they do their reserve and uh, also tells what type of aircraft <clears throat> that each uh, reserve unit uses. But anyway, anyway, today is my birthday. It is the 26th. I have not taken my morning meds yet. I'll do that in a little bit. Uh, not because it's my birthday, but every three months I have to send data in for the pacemaker that I have in me. And I've had the pacemaker, I, uh, I think for nine or 10 years. So it's gonna be getting close to time for a battery replacement. I've never had a battery replacement before. But, uh, and once a year, instead of doing the uh, every three months, sending the data in, uh, I have to go to the cardiologist's office and they do this there. And then I see the cardiologist. And from the data, they can uh, tell, all, they tell everything. I mean, they know everything. I wonder how much they know what I'm doing. But it also tells them how much uh, uh, is left in the battery. And so they told me, I forget the exact, but when it gets to a certain point on the battery, then they'll be have me do this more often. Maybe I'm thinking like, let me do it every, instead of every three months, maybe every two months. Or uh, I'm not sure how they work the schedule down, but they, they'll keep checking. And uh, then at some point, they'll have me go into the hospital in the morning. Uh, they'll open me up and hook a new battery into it. And then I'll stay at the hospital until the uh, afternoon or something. And then they'll send me home. Uh, so. Uh, so I'm going to do this. I'm going to show you how I do it. And uh, I have other videos. I'll try to I'll try to link to them before. I'll, I'll link or well, I'll link to the thing where I had where I went to Walgreens and collapsed there and was taken to the hospital and a pacemaker was put in. And uh, then I'll link to the link where I've done this a couple times and then uh, because I've had quite a few people that have found the older sites and even the newer ones about this and they have left some you know like uh, oh thank goodness uh, for your video I found it and I have to have a pacemaker put in next week or I just had a pacemaker put in and how are you doing? I've just had a pacemaker put in, stuff like that. So it is useful. There's a lot of, there's tons of garbage on YouTube. Of course, I guess another one person's garbage is somebody else's dessert. There's a ton, but there's also a tremendous amount of information on YouTube that is uh, helpful. So, uh, I do this every three months. I actually forget how to uh, how to do it. 
Okay, I'm pressing the button, getting it blinking. Okay, I hit the MS. Uh, this is the people that the pacemaker that, and it's very. Uh, I hate Facebook. I have this thing I keep uh, getting that pops up. Okay, terms of use. I don't know why I have to do this every. Maybe they change it. I accept. Okay. Okay. Uh, shows this screen. Okay, press that. Smart wants to turn on Bluetooth. Okay, yes. I think that's the only reason I use Bluetooth on this phone. Okay, it shows this screen. Okay, it says it wants to turn on Bluetooth. Yes. Turning on Bluetooth. I might have to... No, I see it popped up at the top up there, I believe. I'm not sure. There may be a... Okay, now. Okay, here we go. Okay. It's not showing anything. I think it's going to show me to put it on my chest. Maybe I need to put it on my chest now. Yes. So it, it's showing the bar across the bottom should be acquiring the data. Or I think it's getting the data already. So it will get the data and then it will... Now, before they went to this cell phone method, it sounded like the old 300 baud modems. That's when I had to uh, send it over a regular telephone line. So, uh, so then they went to, which was good because uh, I didn't have a regular. Well, I forget in the beginning I, when I, I when I first moved in here, I did not have a. I had a voice over IP phone system, and uh, the first time I had to do it, I went to the apartment office and they let me use their phone there. And then after that, I think I figured out how to do it over voice IP, but anyway, now it's gone to the cell phone using that. I'm paying a small amount of money. Uh, and I think after, or maybe it's, ex, it's expired, I think that was for a limited time in order to pay for, I guess, this device that I'm putting on my chest, uh, paying a small amount of money. Of course, my insurance company gets charged, I don't know, I forget how much, uh, for the medical, you know, for this to be, for the doctor to, uh, for them to look at it. Once it gets the data, it'll allow me to put this thing down. The bar is all... I love technology. Always did. I was... When I was in grade school, I got into shortwave listening. Uh, you know, electronics, that type of stuff. Okay, wait a minute. <laughs> now it's showing that. Okay, well, I'm not sure why, whether maybe it was having to, okay, now it's, okay, that's what I thought before. Say okay, now it's gathering the data. Not sure what that other, uh, maybe that was just getting ready to run. Uh, wish I had the physique that that guy has. Wish I didn't have this gut that I have. 
So now the data would be loading in here, and then it's going to show me that I can remove this from my chest, and then it will send the data. It doesn't take very long to send the data. It didn't take very long. Uh, when it was using the other, using a regular telephone system. I'm back using my 4K monitor and in 4K mode, and I'm just using the one monitor, by the way. Thought I'd pass that along to you. <laughs> no telling what I'll be using tomorrow. Okay, almost done. Then I can put this thing, remove it from my chest. All green. Okay, shows me that I can now put this thing down. Wow, data already sent. I think they might have changed. Okay, that's it. I am done with this. So, just set that right over there. Don't that's done with that, and you can turn this. No, it's all right. I remember now. Don't need to turn it. Times out. So I don't need to turn it off. still flashing, but don't need to turn it off. Uh, since I've got you here, I am going to purchase, let me drag this over here, one of these smart LED bulbs that works with uh, Alexa. Oops. Here's a new album you might like by Frederic Chopin. Alexa A2. off. It works with I'll say, I can say echo. And uh, then there's a colored bulb that I'm going to uh, order. It says same day delivery. I'll order them tomorrow though. I get my money tomorrow. So I'm going to order one that's a white light and then the other one I'm going to order is uh, a color. And there's an app that you can install uh, to change, like for the color, well, for both of them, you change the uh, brightness and all that type of stuff, and turn on and off. And uh, I have two umbrella lights here that uh, I'm thinking I can replace, not have to use those maybe, but we'll see. Anyway, I will, I may get these tomorrow because. I'm going to purchase tomorrow and that says free same day delivery. So I do love Amazon's uh, service and it's uh, we don't own a car. I live here with my ex-wife. We've been divorced for uh, 38 years or so, something like that, and our grown son. And uh, we share the cost of the apartment. And I think it's still flashing. I'm sure this thing times out. I forget what the other uh, Two things on the end of the thing are uses three triple A batteries. Very simple, by the way. The instructions. If you don't be concerned at all about uh, if you do get a pacemaker and you won't have any, you won't have any trouble. I mean, it's and it's they must know it's. For, it doesn't show you what's the. Uh, Okay, smart light. Let's see. 
I know it's going to shut off. Uh, anyway, what else do I want to... Oh, that doesn't work, does it? Because I'm only recording. Oh, well, that works. I went full screen, but I have the screen divided into two sections. 1980 by 1020 side by side. So if I slide this over, you'll see the parts you're not seeing. Oops, when I slide it over, it, uh, okay, you won't. Because, it, well, you're seeing it, but uh, when I slid it over, it went to this. But when I slide it back, no, it just switches that, but unless I would, uh, okay, yeah. My monitor is an LG monitor, uh, 4K. And like I said, I'm using it in 4K mode. I've, uh, I'm using, Uh, Movidia Video Suite, the record screen app. Uh, that's not an app, it's part of the program. I'm using that for... Uh... Okay, we're all down there. I knew. When I go to the doctor's office once a year, you know, they give me a form go to like the lab which is you know and they they did have me they did have us lay down and then they would put a thing on it you know over us and then get get the information the data you know sort of like an EKG uh, but now uh, the last time or two that I've gone they just have us sit in a chair or whatever which is better I I don't have emphysema or COPD or anything like that, but I, I don't like laying down. It's a short period of time, but it's very, kind of uncomfortable. Laying down, sitting up is uh, much better. Um, but anyway, they record the data and uh, then they send me down the hall to the doctors where the doctor is, and I, you have to sit a little bit, and then I go in. And anyway, when you when I first go to the, uh, they have me fill out a form. Have you had any chest pain? Have you had any uh, pounding of, I forget, you know, pounding of the heart or whatever? And, you know, and once or twice I went, and I thought, yeah, I, I remember uh, back a few months ago, my heart was pounding a lot. I checked that out. But then as soon as the doctor comes in, he, you know, he, look, he comes in and he says, no, you haven't had your heart pounding. You haven't. They they know. They see it all. All that data is. It shows up. So. So now when I see that form, I, even if I think I hey, well, I think my heart was pounding, you know, I don't even bother to check it, you know. Anyway, thank you very much. I'm going to upload this. I uh, just had a tuna sandwich for breakfast going to take my morning meds. I have uh, enlarged prostate, which is really a pain for, you know, not a pain, well, it's inconvenient. Uh, I also have type 2 diabetes. I never thought I would ever have it. Uh, because in the past, you know, you ask family history, you know, you know, zero, you know, no history of it, whatever. Now I'm type 2 diabetic, which that's, uh, that's not really a problem. I mean, I, well, it's a problem, but then I have a few other problems, but uh, until just a few years ago, I, um, uh, Like when I go to the doctor's a new doctor's office or something like that, I forget. I think it was a pacemaker when that came up. That was about ten years ago. 
and you know you had to go to the hospital went to the hospital of course and it was like the nurse you know have you had any operations or whatever you know no no you haven't had any I, mean, I said well I I had my uh, tonsils taken out when I was a kid no no you know and the nurse would, the nurses would say when this would well, that's really remarkable, and I, you know. But then, bang! All of a sudden, you know. Uh, and then, of course, if you've been watching my videos, you know that back about a year or so ago, less than a year, I think, I scraped my leg on the on my bed frame, metal bed frame, and my leg got infected. I didn't. Uh, I should have gone to a doctor's office sooner, you know. And then it got so bad, all of a sudden, I had to uh, take an Uber over to the emergency room. And as soon as they saw it, they said, you're going to be admitted. And I was there for six days. I left against medical advice. Finally, I don't think I could have made it a seventh day. Uh, they put me on a super powerful antibiotic. I could not eat anything. I mean, they brought in food, but I, I just couldn't stomach it. I was nauseated the entire uh, six days that I was there, um, and uh, finally I just uh, they uh, put a catheter in me right away. Except they hit. I can show you the pictures of like of uh, the bag on the bed filled with blood because the nurse hit the prostate and. That bled in the bag, and uh, the nurse was saying, "I, I, th I think it's it's going, it's getting more, you know, less blood and more, you know, urine or whatever." And I thought, "No, it's uh, blood," but I did not want to be. I didn't want her to take the catheter out and put another one in. But anyway, finally, and the nurse that came on the next shift, it was like, "Ah, oh, yeah, is it getting a little better?" I thought, "I think it is," you know. And then finally, the nurse who the, who had hit my cat or hit my prostate came in, and it was you know she says, "Okay, I've got to take this catheter out and put another one in." Ooh, ouch! Not good. Um, so anyway, I had some. Also, I have a thing I've mentioned, I think I've mentioned before. Uh, I, um, what was I going to say? Oh, of nausea. I have a phobia or a terrible fear of vomiting. And uh, I haven't vomited since the uh, 1970s or whatever two one year in a row Hong Kong flu came through or the next year this another flu came through in both years I and I try I know you're supposed to just <clears throat> my ex-wife she can just you know just vomit and then she it's then it's oh you know it's over or whatever okay you know let's we're in uh, barbecue or something you know and I have I <clears throat> if I get sick and I feel a little bit nauseated. I will lay in my bed in a cold sweat all night long, terrified that I'm going to vomit. Because when I vomited those times in the 70s, I know you're supposed to just do it. And I know probably you can just do it. You know, go out drinking. I don't drink, by the way. Not because of vomiting, I just don't drink. I never drank or smoked. Uh, but. I, it's so I try to keep from and then I aspirate or choke or so I have this fear so there I was in this hospital not able to eat and also laying there all that time terrified that I was going to to vomit of course that would be the place to vomit because they can suction me out or whatever but uh so, uh, 78 years old, it's not a matter of 
if I know I'm going to be having to deal with some issues. Uh, I sometimes think, you know, hey, of course it was like 10 years ago when I went to Walgreens and my blood, my heart rate went to like 25 or whatever. Uh, and then they took me to the hospital, the ambulance took me to the emergency room and they put a pacemaker in me. Kind of thinking maybe I shouldn't have had the pacemaker. I mean, that wouldn't be, well, that's not true. Because then I, th I thought about it. They gave me a choice, you know. You need a pacemaker. Do you want to have it? And I went ahead and uh, went with uh, yes, you know. Uh, but at that time, I was living in this apartment complex. But I was living upstairs. They have, the upstairs places have some, uh, it's only one flight. Scary stairs, you know concrete and if, if I if you fall and like in the winter time we don't usually get a bad winter here in Texas but sometimes we get ice on the stairs or snow and uh, and especially now it's hard for me to I have zero energy uh, going up a flight of stairs one flight of stairs you know just doing anything is uh, hard so but anyway so I, I was thinking then, well, yeah, I better have the pacemaker. I don't want to, well, I was thinking, well, not a back way to go if, if I would go that way. The only problem is I might just have a stroke or some other problem, you know, some other problem. And I'm not, I'm not a driver now, so I don't do any driving, but, um, you know, I could fall down the stairs and just end up, you know, with me, so. That wouldn't be a bad way to go, just have my heart rate go down. And uh, But here, I'm not sure when. We'll find out when I go to the doctor's office. Well, I won't find out until like three months. Well, I'm not sure when my next appointment is. Maybe three months. To, when I go, because I go once a year. <clears throat> so then they'll tell me. But if... Uh, if my battery were really, really low or something, I'd be hearing from them, you know, saying, hey, we need you to uh, do this more often, or you need to come in and we're going to put a new battery in. So, anyway, uh, thank you very much for uh, for watching.